Let's do a review. Let's have a look at the MXR smart gate and the Boss noise suppressor next to each other. See which one cuts out the most noise and which one has the best overall performance. What guitar shall you use, Simon? I know what I'll use. I'll use my PRS Custom 24. That's what I'll use. Ooh. Where is it, Simon? It's right there, Simon. That's the PRS. What amplifier shall you use? I'll use my PV Classic 50, Simon. Okay, Simon. Get on with it then. All right. So what do these two pedals do then? Okay, so they're noise gates. Well, this one's a noise gate anyway. And this one is a noise suppressor. They do a similar thing. They cut out all the hiss, all of the unwanted noise, feedback, etc. So the MXR Smart Gate has got three different controls. So you've got trigger level, the amount of gate that you're using, the high trigger range, which will determine whether you're using a small amount of gate or a higher amount of gate if it's pushed down, and full, mid, and hiss. If you've got it on hiss, it'll just cut out the, the extraneous hiss. If you've got it on mid, it's halfway between the two. And if you have it on full, it's full noise gate. The noise suppressor also has three switches, so mute. If you put it on mute and turn it on, it just cuts out the signal. Reduction, so reduction will then act similar to the noise gate. Um, you've got threshold, so minimum and maximum. And you've got decay, max, minimum and maximum. And I will show you what all these beautiful things do. Okay, so here's the sound of the guitar with no distortion pedal on. As you can hear, that's nice and quiet, other than my mobile phone signal beeping through it. As soon as I stick the distortion pedal on, we've got loads of nasty noise. Essentially what they both do is, noise gone, noise back, noise gone, noise back. So let's leave the, leave the distortion on and have a little fiddle with these. Okay, so on the hiss mode, it doesn't really take much out there. In fact, it doesn't really take anything out at all. Put the high trigger range. Still doesn't really cut it out. On the mid range. Still doesn't cut it out. Full, nice and silent. I do find it needs to be on the high trigger range to be really effective. Okay, so let's have a look at how well that stops um, hiss and noise in between notes. Okay, so let's have a look at how well the notes sustain and ring out when we've got these gates on. Not bad, not bad. 
bad. Let's have another go. that just cuts the volume all right now let's see when we hit a note because there's a gate, sometimes you get a slight dip of volume right at the start of your notes, as we do on here, if we have the threshold all the way up. It's slightly quieter at the start of the note, and then it comes up. So you have to be quite careful how you set it. You want to set it just enough so that you're not getting too much noise, but not so much that you're choking your notes at the start. Okay, what does the what does the decay do? The decay will change the amount of sustain I should get through my notes here. So let's have a look. Whatsoever. However, if I do a short burst of notes, okay, then if I change the decay, you'll notice it. So, so, see how this one does. Okay, so. Good. There's no choking on the notes either. Seems like the optimum place on there.
moment all I'm doing is just resting my palm on the strings and taking it off again. So there you have it, that is the MXR Smartgate versus the Boss Noise Suppressor. Um, both good units, uh, I've used them both live, they both work well, so uh, take your pick. <laughs>